Hi, this is DJ Q and I'm going against the clock on Fuck TV.
Two and a half, yeah. Thirty seconds, yeah. No, twenty. Twenty, yeah. Cool. I've got an intro on a drop then. I enjoyed that. It was a bit different to my normal workflow, but I made it work. I'm normally like a perfectionist, so I, when I'm making drums, for instance, I always go in and tweak every little thing as soon as I'm making them, rather than doing everything after. So that's what takes me a bit longer than usual. But 10 minutes was a challenge, and I think I did all right, I guess. It's similar, like getting ideas down, but in terms of finishing like a final track, I kind of take more time tweaking sounds, adding effects, and like compressing stuff, mm -hmm. just making it sound better as I go along rather than doing anything after. Do you know what, um, usually I start with drums. I get like a decent drum pattern and then work around that. But I thought, because I've got these synths and that, try something different. The mix between software and hardware really, I got um, the Prophet Rev, the Juno 106, like the Moog subfighter there. And a few like the rack of stuff there as well. This is like my little man cave in it, so I just try to bring everything here that I need to just enjoy and making music. Yeah, that, that, that's how I normally work it anyway. Um, drums first and then build an intro around it unless I've got an idea for a drop already mm -hmm. in my head. So yeah, I work the intro and then get the drop right, man. I use Serum, Massive. Um, Subfight is decent for bass lines as well. Mm -hmm. If I'd have had more time, I'd have been able to get something decent out of that. I'll tell you what, yeah. one thing that's bugging me about this track, yeah? Um, yeah. I'll show you now. See the vocals that I put in? You can kind of hear there's a lot of noise in the, in the, a lot of noise in the bottom end, like, but um, what I usually do with vocal stuff is if I load up an EQ on it and just kind of get rid of the um, unwanted frequencies there, sort of thing. So I cut it to about 100 hertz and it kind of, kind of sounds a bit cleaner as well. So yeah, that's one thing, removing sound, removing like um, unwanted noise, that's one thing that I would suggest doing. Okay. For like everyone just making music really. Okay. See I spend I spend most of my time doing that rather than like Yeah. Yeah, so that's what yeah, takes me longer sometimes. Yeah. 